Hey babes, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Glamorous Beauty. What's up guys? I hope everybody is having a beautiful Wednesday wherever you are. Today I am at work. I am moving from one place to the next so I figured I'd get on here and let's chat about a few things before I get, have to go back in. I am going to insert a few photos so you guys can see why I did not upload Monday like I normally have been doing but I will be making it up to you beauties Thursday through the weekend I will have a video coming for you guys. I just want to talk a few minutes about Jaclyn Hill and Morphe and her new palette, the Volume 2. I am going to be reviewing that palette simply because I truly believe that it's not about the person. I'm all about finding me a good product. And I know some of you guys are completely strongly firm on not supporting certain influencers, creators, brands, and that's fine. We're all different here, and that is what makes us as a whole so awesome and so unique. It's because each one of us have our own opinions, our own feelings, and we can share those things in the comments or on social media in a positive and very clear way without tearing each other a new asshole. Let's be real. You know, open the discussion up down in the comments if you're going to test it, if you're going to try it, if you're not going to buy it. But guys, be nice in the comments and be nice to each other, please. That is all I ask. No matter if it's a negative Nancy or not, I always comment because that's who I am. And I try to explain back why I do what I do in a loving and kind manner. So you'll always get some type of positivity out of me, no matter what you comment. I don't know guys there's been allegedly the palette is old it was created back in 2018 it was supposed to launch in 2019 so we'll test that we'll see if the pans are hard because if that shadow has went bad you will be able to tell because there won't be no pigment coming up off them shadows when I try to use them because it'll, it'll have a hard pan we'll see if there's any mold in them we'll see what's going on with them and, you know, I personally love to test products where there's a lot of drama around it because I really want to know the, tr the truth. And honestly, there's a lot of people on this platform I just don't believe. I don't trust their reviews because majority of them are getting paid. And that's just a fact. I personally, I have received PR, but if I don't like the product, I tell you. It's just how it is. Now, I don't do sponsored videos, so I don't get paid. I miraculously sometimes get products in the mail and if I want to review it I do if I don't then I don't if I like it I tell you if I don't I don't because I started my channel because I was always purchasing products that turned out to be shit and it was just so raved about so I got so sick of it I'm like just because I've, I've always been very nervous and shy about getting in front of people and like a group of people in public so I wasn't real sure if I was going to do it but after you get so fed up and so tired of investing so much money because people lie to you over and over again the only way there's going to be a change is if you make that change so you know I see on social media all the time people commenting so horrible about Jaclyn Hill that's the thing over on Twitter, under her post, you see all this positivity. You go up underneath one of the commentary or drama channels, and you see that same thing person tearing her new, just tearing her apart, just talking shit, mad shit, bitch. I'm talking mad shit. And I'm just like, the bitch was just on Twitter praising her and trying to get on Morphe's PR list. Like, why do that? It it sickens me it really really does but I don't know personally like I said I'm not about whether or not if I like somebody dislike somebody I don't know the girl I don't know her on a personal level so I don't know if she lies or how she is behind closed doors I do know that she has done some 
pretty damn messed up shit on social media. But, you know, honestly, if you really look at majority of these people that are creators that do collabs or partnerships or even start their own brand, it's all a lie. It's all a game. It's a game to amp all of us up to want to buy that product. At the end of the day, everybody has their little own little twists and turns on how to sell a product. Um, now, the thing I don't agree with and I do not understand is, honestly, if the girl don't want to create videos no more, that's her will. There's a lot of people that go on to build a bigger empire, a cosmetic company, do all kinds of other things outside of social media, their long-term dream, but they come onto their channel and they openly admit, look, babes. I really love creating makeup and I promise that when I start to get ready to launch a product I will come on I will let everyone know I will do some tutorials I will do some swatches I will let you guys in the loop on the new product to create however at this time YouTube is not where my heart is I'm really not feeling it I'm gonna take some time to deal with my issues my personal shit but I'll still be creating products for you guys just want to let you guys know keep it real with you let you know what's going on i'm going to pull away from youtube and really start focusing on my brand just fucking be honest that's what the consumer wants be honest with them tell them that is why so many people are pissed off at her it's because she says this 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 and it's because of this 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 that she can't produce videos, but yet every time she gets ready to sell a product, she comes onto YouTube to do that. And it's fine, but again, let your subscribers know so they're not just hanging out, just wasting their time waiting on a video to pop up that's not gonna come through. Let them know. She even said in her last video, she said, I don't know when my time, my career here is gonna be done, but I want to make makeup. That's somewhat of saying it, but it's not bluntly just coming out and telling the truth and saying, look, I'm done with YouTube. I'm over YouTube. I have no interest or passion for YouTube no more. So I'm just going to focus on this. People would be so much more appreciative. They would be so much more out to continue to follow her. It is the lying that gets her. The lies will catch your ass every time honey trust me a girl knows before i got sober i was one of the biggest damn liars you would have ever met in your life i manipulated everybody to get what i wanted so i see the signs but on the same note it i see again like i said i see it all over social media that people says i'm not gonna follow i'm not gonna buy i'm not gonna this i'm not gonna that i'm not 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 and you're talking millions of people if those same millions of people truly did what they say they were going to do, then that person would no longer be even a mention on any of these platforms. If you feel that strongly that you don't want to follow somebody, guys, you don't have to follow them. Just don't do it. It's that simple. But people want to be all up in the drama. And that is why... It never happens. It's not about whether they like them or dislike them. Drama, drama sells, baby. Drama sells. And that is that. It's just how it is. And so, you hear people say all the time, I'm so over the drama. Like, I am so sick of the bullshit. Like, I'm tired of hearing about this petty bitch. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. But girl, those same people, next drama video, they're all up on it. So, Drama is the place to be, and that's just how it is. Personally, I'll tell you, like, sometimes I will get in such a funk from watching too much drama or listening to too much drama that I honestly have to pull myself out of because I will be so mentally just messed up from it that I just, I can't only take, I can only take so much drama and I have to pull away from it. I just can't deal with it. And personally, I'm going to tell you straight up, Morphe for me, like, I've 
I've got some palettes from them that I absolutely love. I'll show you guys right here where I've been going through everything. Like, my whole makeup room has just been a disaster. I've had every piece of my clothing and my house out. It's been crazy. I've donated like 13, 14 bags of those leaf size trash bags of clothing and makeup. And girl, now I got to hang everything back up. But I've got almost all the makeup put back away. It's It's been a hot mess, but I have been a busy woman. But it needed to be done, so it's almost there. It's almost done. And then I have to work tomorrow as well. But let me know, guys, do y'all want to see a tutorial on this palette? I mean, I'm going to review it regardless because I like to be open and honest and let you guys see what it does. And that's another thing. When, you know, you come on here... And I guess some people, when you get to a certain size and you have people that edit, it, edit your videos and they're professional, they went to school for that kind of stuff, they can go in there and make things appear visible to the eye that's not really there. But little people like us, I'm, I'm not no professional editor. I do the best I can with what I got. So whatever you see on my channel is how it's going to perform. That I ain't going to lie. So... Like I said, I'll look over it. I'll tell you if the pans are hard. I'll tell you if I see anything outside of the typical, normal look of a shadow. But you're going to see yourself if the pigment's there, if it's going to blend, if it's going to kind of just merge as one shadow. Because I hate when shadows do that and you can't really see the gradient effect. So, yeah, I mean, you'll see for yourself how it works. But... I'm definitely going to review that palette and see what it's about, let you know the tea. But honestly, guys, I really think that that's her biggest downfall is she does not, she's not up front. And I honestly feel personally in my mind and my heart and my soul, girl, I just feel like she's just over YouTube. Nah. I just feel like she's over YouTube and she's done really creating. She hasn't even done a tutorial with this palette. And honestly, if you want a product to sell and your heart is in it, girl, you're going to be up there like showing some looks, using it, and letting people see more than just the campaign ads. Like, the only thing I've seen posted so far of anything about this palette is the campaign ads. She has not come on since that video explaining that you know she was having some alcoholism problems and uh that's why her face was puffy and that um she was going to sell a new product and that's the last that we've seen of her and i really honestly thought that she would have come on here and done some looks all over twitter up underneath her comments you'll see you know, Jacqueline, please do a look. Jacqueline, can you show us some tutorials? And in anything in the past, that girl would be busting it out with some killer-ass looks. So I really think that... I honestly feel, too, that this new guy that she's with, Jordan... I mean, I feel like she's really just... Either she's really happy and she's content and she's enjoying that time just spending it with him... And she just ain't so much bothered anymore with all this. So, I don't know. I think it's a mixture. I just think, honestly, she's over YouTube. I think that she's looking for more in life. Whether it's her cosmetic brand. Whether it's being genuinely, like, really all about Jordan. And helping him focus on his career here on YouTube. Because he has a cooking channel. So, I don't know, girl. Let me know. What do you think? Like, it's crazy shit. If you haven't checked out my giveaway, make sure you go check it out. It ends on the 28th, so it's coming up very, very quick. We are doing the Jeffree Star Mystery Box giveaway from Valentine's Day, as well as one winner will win the Amen palette. So, yeah, we got that coming for you, beauty babes. But if you haven't entered, I'll leave your video right here. Just click on it. Go check it out. Follow the little rules whatever you want to call them, and get yourself an entry, boo. I always pick one new subscriber, one old subscriber for my giveaway, making it equal, and yeah, that's it. I got to go to work, girl. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Let me know if you're going to be trying to get the Jeffree Star Cosmetic 
purple blood lust collection launching this Friday you see your girls ready I gotta add like a Jeffree Star logo here and then I'm gonna do like the little crown of bloodlust here got my toes did they're that light pretty purple a little mix of hot dark purple and light purple representing all right guys I love you make sure you subscribe comment down below on those two things what do you think about the Jaclyn Hill palette what do you think about the Jeffree Star collection and also guys share the video please make sure your notification bell is on so you don't miss any of my future uploads and that is it for today that's a wrap no it ain't i'm kidding so uh also i meant to tell you guys the other thing that i was thinking on the whole jacqueline hill because everybody's talking about it's not selling out i do honestly feel like morphe and jacqueline made a kind of a bad decision business decision on that because Jeffree Star on his last mystery box pulled that afterpay and I have a feeling that he may not be bringing that back and I think many other fans do too so I think a lot of people are busy saving up for his launch and they launched it a week from Jeffree Star Cosmetics so I really think that that's why that Jacqueline Hill palette hasn't done as well what's your opinion let a bitch know Bye.